Cowboy is expect as Akil Elliott is ready to play, focused, staying alive is not just a hit record from the Bee Gees, look it up. But also the mantra of the Dallas Cowboys this December. It's all the team can do to stay afloat in waters made treacherous by their own inability to close out games this season, which have them treading water at 7-6 with no guarantee for the playoffs even if they continue their winning ways and run the table. They were able to escape Week 15 with a wild and crazy win over the Oakland Raiders, keeping things exceptionally relevant for the return of all-pro running back Ezekiel Elliott making it instantly easier to finish the task of running the table. Asterisk asterisk follow at Voicey Opfister on Twitter for up to the second news and analysis. Asterisk asterisk, aside from some celebratory tweeting directed towards his beloved Cowboys and Ohio State Buckies, Elliott has been in operation since beginning his six-game suspension. His goal during the media hiatus was simple and poignant, to reset mentally and train for his return, one that certainly won't lack for a motivation to destroy all comers. Eep Stephen Jones recently spoke with a Doomsday podcast with Matt Mosley and Edward Er to give insight on what the NFL can expect when the 2016 rushing champ returns to the field. NFL rules do not permit the team to have any contact with Elliott during his suspension, but Jones is more than happy to speak on his expectations. We understood that he was going to get away and really focus on getting himself in better shape, Jones said, via Pro Football Talk, I think he was playing a little heavier than he did last year, I think he was wanting to lose some weight and really recommit himself to the game, obviously, serving the suspension, you could argue that it was a little on the heavy side, but in spite of all that, he made some poor decisions, and he paid a price for it. I think he understands that and he wants to be committed to the game and be one of the great players to play the game and certainly he can do that if he has his commitment and he's accountable to what he can be. We really don't know anything about where he is at this point. Our expectation is that he comes back ready to play and hopefully even better than when he left. So if he can do that, then certainly we feel like that we can run the table. Elliot is eligible to return to the team's facility December 18th at 10 a.m. CST, and will take the field on December 24th when the Cowboys host the Seattle Seahawks in a contest that will determine the fate of both teams. This is assuming they dispatch with the Raiders, of course, making that game meaningful for Elliot's return because otherwise the Cowboys would be justified in sitting him until 2018 to prevent the risk of long-term injury in a throwaway game. His impact is felt on both sides of the ball and had he remained on the field, he'd lead the NFL in rushing with 1,272 yards total, which would be 167 better than current leader Levin Bell. Elliott was also on pace to have 11 rushing touchdowns through Week 14, one better than Todd Gurley, the current NFL leader in that category. So yes, he's really good at playing American football. The more grave concern orbits the hope Elliot has also taken this time away to reflect and grow as a person, and Jones has little doubt that has been the case. There is a school of thought that the players would be better off in a football environment, in and around the football team, but just not able to play the games, said Jones. And of course, we do that with some of the suspensions, I think it's debatable, it's obviously the way the rule is today is that we can't have contact with him. You know we would probably be in the school of thought that he would be better off training and being around his teammates every day and being in a football environment where there's no distractions, but hopefully he is focused. Hopefully he is recommitting himself and at some point, to really get over the hump here, these guys have to be able to go out and be accountable to themselves be accountable to their teammates and do things the right way and hopefully that's what Zeke's doing right now. From a football standpoint, the Cowboys need Elliott as a continued guarantee their offense will not falter going forward. They've been able to escape a three-game slump that saw them go winless out of the gate without their star RB in tow, failing to score more than nine points in that span. They've since reeled off three straight victories amassing 88 points in the process, but there's a stark difference from defeating the out-of-sorts Redskins and comedic Giants to finishing the job against a team like the Seattle Seahawks. And after all, they did again stumble against the wounded Raiders. A whole Cowboys team would easily become the dark horse to win the Super Bowl, 
but they'll need a lot to happen for that to become reality, one of which is a given, and that's the fact Elliot is back in the building.